Nah, this gotta be Cap. That's got to be Cap. Oh my god. Alright guys, welcome to episode 5 of The Promised Neverland Season 2. As we can remember what happened in the last episode, all the kids that were in the basement, FBI randomly showed up, SWAT team with MP5s and all types of Call of Duty attachments. They were looking for the kids, they ended up wrangling up the kids outside near the forest when they were trying to escape. But then the monster, I believe, from episode 1 Season 2 popped up and then just started wrecking everything. The kids, I think, are running away from that situation right now and we don't know what's going to happen next. Also, as a disclaimer, I know that there's going to be a bunch of angry manga readers that's going to come into this stream or come into this video that I'm going to be posting. I understand. The manga readers are kind of mad right now because I believe that the anime went on its own twist. The anime is not actually following the manga of The Promised Neverland. I just want you guys to be as kindful as possible and to just not try to start a flame war in the goddamn comments along the lines of, why is this happening? Why is the manga like why are they changing things up just respect the authors of the promised neverland that's all i'm pretty much asking but anyway if you guys enjoy this episode hit that thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new let's watch this and let's see where this anime is gonna let's see where it's gonna go because obviously even the manga readers don't know let's just get it started what the hell is this is that a bunch of kids they look like connie from episode one like when they were inside that jar What is this? Is this where the monsters are at? I think it is. Oh my God, we're inside where the monsters are at, like a monster city where they're feeding people kids. So they actually have a community, like they're humans. Here, another farm was attacked. Look at all the jars. They have human parts in there. Kid heads, kid arms, kid legs, what? They're trying to buy some ingredients. They wallow, look, the kid hands. All the good meat only goes to the nobles. It's because you guys are broke. You guys want to get the good brains? You guys got to pay up. Oh, they're talking about the situation that happened with season one. They're wondering if the kids are still alive from the first season that escaped basically the group of Hana and Ray and all the other children. The question now is where the hell are they going? Because they're walking up some really big, it looked like a very crazy spiritual type of place, like a shrine of some sort. The 24th of January, medical ingredients. Who's pointing at all the stuff? Because that's a human up there. Well, is there like a garden in there? They're getting all types of medicines and ingredients no way is this where the children are now though because because those are those splatoon kids that's where the children are now they're at an area right next to a village of demons is that what's going on right now they're too close to the enemy lines they gotta they gotta pick a better location they're friends with them oh no they were just acting the part that's crazy yo there's got to be some backstory on to how they just found this town how they infiltrated this thing and, they're, and they weren't even detected by the demons or like, you know, smelled out. Everyone's laughing around. Yeah, a little too comfortable. So everyone's down there eating some soup now because they got the ingredients from the town. But like I was saying earlier, how the hell did they manage to find this town and know how to infiltrate it properly? What the hell is that? Who the hell is this? That girl doesn't look familiar at all. Like she just randomly got introduced to the anime. Hold on, let me pause this. Here's my question. Why do they keep on listening to the radio transmissions in regards to the different farms with the mothers talking into the thing saying, okay, everything is clear. Nothing is happening here. What's the point of all that? Because I guess if they hear from another facility, okay, something happened. What are they gonna potentially do? Are the kids gonna be like, oh shit, something is happening in sector 13. We gotta run down there and do something about it. No? So me watching this anime and seeing them constantly go back to this radio and listen into what they're saying i'm very confused about that like what is the point of that you guys can't even barely take care of yourselves right now what makes you think that you can go you know to a farm and rescue a bunch of children knowing damn well that it was damn near impossible to escape the farm in season one i'm just confused Finally, Hannah, things are starting to come a little bit more, you know. She's finally starting to see how much of an issue it is to be outside of the farms. Ewan made the decision to bring them out. Exactly. But I mean, at the end of the day, they would have gotten killed if they were in the farms. So what they did was a good idea. But at the same time, 
you got to basically adjust to the situation that you're in now. And I still have to go save Phil and the others as soon as possible, bro. That's the thing, too. It's like you're putting all this burden on yourself when you don't need to be doing all that. So the Splatoon kids want to go into town now and help her get some food. I don't think this is a good idea. Because I feel like the more children that goes with her, the higher risk there is of a demon finding out that they're humans. And then if that situation happens, you're basically screwed. It's a whole town of demons just looking for humans to eat up. He agreed to that. He said, let's take them. This is going to be so bad. But be absolutely sure that the demons don't realize that we're humans. Uh-oh. They're going to do something stupid. Uh-oh, somebody's already in there? Sounds like somebody with a cane. Oh, this is a real old motherfucker. This is the evil-blooded temple. Children shouldn't stay here on their own. And he didn't know that they're humans? Can't he smell them? Are they going to try to take the apples from him? And before, it's a poisonous apple. Why is Emma being so nice and she's so close to him? At any point, he could be like, yo, you smell like fried chicken. If only the farms would share more of their meat with us. Oh, yo, get out of there. At this rate, even this town will soon degenerate and become wild. The world won't change. Yo, he literally right in front of all these kids. He's like, yo, we need some more kids to eat. I hope you all can eat better food too. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. That was a little scary. So they've been in there for six months? That old demon also eats humans. Yes, he does. He clearly stated it. If he finds out that we're really humans, it's over. If we don't have him eat proper meat soon. Yo, so what? They got family that they got to take care of. They're about to die if they don't eat. These two guys, the Jesse and James duo of this demon pair shit, they're going to find them kids. And them kids is going to be in big ass trouble. The highest grade meat might be lurking nearby. I called it. It's over. Human hands. I told you, bro. You shouldn't have brought the Splatoon kids with you. Ain't no way something smells good. I'd be like, oh, it's the bodega right there, man. They're making a bacon, egg, and cheese right now. Uh-oh. The smell of humans. Why would you run? You can easily just say that it's that, that we're in a market environment. Just say, hey, oh, it's these guys right there. They're selling humans. It smells like that. You made it look so sus. No cap, the fact that they even started running, they made the whole situation look sus. All they had to do was just stand there and you could have easily played it off. Because we're in a whole market. That's like being in the middle of the Bronx and everyone's making a chopped cheese or everyone's selling all types of shit. Chopped cheese, burgers, corn, sandwiches. You could have just been like, yo, it's one of those stores right there. But the fact that they were like, oh shit, I'm out. That instantly was just like red flag, red flag. That's the dumbest situation ever. Who's this big guy? That's a completely different person that's there. The taller one that's following the kids? They really chasing these kids. She better not break her legs again. It's over. It's over. Damn, these guys were really pursuing them. How they get to the roof so fast? Who are these guys? Oh shit, this ain't looking good. This is not looking good at all. They got blades? They killed him? I told you, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have brought the kids. Who's that? What? Norman? Norman? Wait, what? What? Nah, this gotta be Cap. That's got to be Cap. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was like, damn, this episode kind of slow. But to pop it off like that at the end, Norman? But he got taken away. How he ended up in this scenario? What is this, the kids next door? What, 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 was he apparently uh, assigned a special role to live amongst the... I don't even know what's gonna happen now in the next episode. We need a lot of explanations right now because I feel like this episode didn't explain shit. They didn't even explain how the children got to that place. They didn't explain how the children found that town. They didn't explain how the children, like, like they were there for so many months. I don't know. I don't know where this anime is going. But goddamn, the way that shit ended off like that, I'm, I'm just very, very surprised. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.